Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the next topic is the root locus. Root locus also is a very important topic to study the, to understand the control system. First, we will briefly discuss about what is this root locus first. So first, the meaning of the root. What is the meaning of this root means? Root means simply, it is roots of characteristic equations. Roots of characteristic equation. So you know the characteristic equation. What is the characteristic equation generally? So for closed loop transfer function, it is 1 plus g of s and h of s equals to 0. This is the characteristic equation. When we are solving this characteristic equation, we will get some roots. Okay. So by using these roots and locus all of you know that what is the meaning of this locus locus means a path path or the way generally locus means this point to this point the locus is the path is like this so by using the roots of the characteristic equation we will make a path so by using these roots and the path we will understand the system stability the system stability how how it is working we will discuss in this the root locus okay so we can tell the definition we can tell the definition simply this is closed loop poles we have the closed loop poles path closed loop poles path varying varying the DC gain K varying DC gain K from 0 to infinite 0 to infinite infinite means this is the infinite generally DC gain for the closed loop system K value is varies from 0 to infinite okay so by using this concept we will discuss the system stability okay simply the root locus means the closed loop poles having a path it has some path it is varying from k value from 0 to infinite it will start from 0 and it will reach the infinite by using this concept we will discuss the root locus okay so this is the general phenomena of the root locus and we will discuss what is the purpose of the root locus here here the purpose of root locus is the first point to find the closed loop stability so closed loop stability you know the stable what is the stability stability means whenever we, we are giving the bounded input then we will get the bounded output then the system has the stability so by using the open loop transfer function so the, here thing is we are finding the closed loop stability closed loop stability but the most important thing is we are using the open loop don't forget this we are using the open loop using the open loop and finding the closed loop next to find the range of the k values for the system stability and the marginal stability so you know the k values what is k here this is the dc gain this is the dc gain we will find out DC gain for stable system as well as marginal stable system. Okay. Next, to find the natural frequency of oscillations. So it is useful for the natural frequency of oscillation that is the omega n. Omega n, you know that it's very, very important term. It is give the natural frequency of the oscillations. <coughs> Next, to find the K values for the undamped, underdamped, overdamped, critically damped system. So again, so this is for k value. What is undamped system generally? Whenever the zeta is equals to 0, this is undamped system. Whenever zeta value in between 0 and 1, that is underdamped system. What is overdamped system? Zeta equal to 1. What is critical damped system? Zeta is greater than 1. So these are the, depends on the damping ratios. Depends on the damping ratios. So we are defining this. So for this all systems, we will find out the 
k values next to find relative stability it is the best method to find the relative stability so the important thing is the it is useful for find the relative stability and here the most important thing this is the best method to find the relative stability best method to find the relative stability and in the last we discussed about the root hervich criteria this root hervich criteria is useful to find the absolute stability okay root hervich criteria is useful for absolute absolute stability you need absolute stability means perfect stability right so this is the purpose of the purpose of our root locus okay so if you observe all the points root locus is concentrated on k what is k here dc k dc k whenever we are taking the frequency zero we will get the dc k okay and by using this dc k only we will understand the root locus so what is the root locus root locus means it is the roots of the characteristic equations locus means the path right and we will discuss some examples to understand the root locus concept so here we, we have a system one system has the input r of s output is c of s it is system open loop transfer function is k by s it is it is the unity feedback system here first we will draw the we will take the characteristic equation what is the characteristic equation 1 plus g of s and h of s is equals to 0 from here 1 plus g of s is k by s and h of s is the 1 so by using that we will write 1 plus k by s is equals to 0 s is the lcm here s plus k is the 0 by using this we can take s plus k equal to 0 so we will get we will get s equal to minus k s equal to minus k so we will finally we will getting by using this characteristic equation we are getting s minus k s means the these are the poles closer loop poles and k is the tck so to understand this take some k values and find out the s values here so here for example i will take k value 0 what is the s value s value as to 0 and what is k k value if i take the k value 1 s value is the minus 1 if you take k value is the 2 s value is the minus 2 if take gain value always from 0 to infinite ending point is the infinite then we have the minus infinite okay now we will draw the root locus is like this so generally root locus you have to draw in the s plane so that's why i will take the s plane here so this is the s plane generally and in this s plane so this is the s plane so initially first take k value 0 so for k value 0 we have s value is the 0 for s value is the minus 1 okay s value is the minus 1 and it will reach up to the infinite it is s value is so in general it is for s value 0 so just take for if i take the k value is 0 it will reach the infinite sorry minus infinite at k equal to infinite when i take dc gain is 0 it starts from here and it will be extended and it will be extended like this when k value reaches infinite the s value is equal to infinite at dc gain equal to 0 we have pole at 0 at dc gain equal to infinite the closure loop pole at the minus infinite so this is the root locus 
this is the from this point to this point is called the root locus this is called the root locus okay so this root locus information will give the <coughs> stability closed loop stability okay yeah that's fine the root locus always when we are take here when we are understanding here root locus always gives concentrate on k values to find the k values dc gain values dc gain values okay so this is k equal 0 from k equal infinite will give the root locus and we will understand the another problem that is g of s equal k by s square here same procedure first you take the characteristic equation what is the characteristic equation that is 1 plus g of s h of s is equals to 0 what is this characteristic equation generally why we are taking this characteristic equation means g of s is you know g of s is open loop transfer function normally when what is the closed loop transfer function for the same g of s that is g of s by 1 plus g of s into h of s is the closed loop transfer function here 1 plus g of s is h of s is called what we are calling is closed loop poles okay what is this g of s closed loop zeros closed loop zeros that's why to understand the closed loop poles we are taking the characteristic equation that's why it is then we are the another name is the characteristic equation the same thing here 1 plus so you know that 1 plus g of s means k by s square and into 1 is equals to 0 by solving this we will get s square plus 1 is equals to 0 from this s square is equals to minus k so here s square equal to i can write the j square into k okay yeah by so by solving this we will have s value equal to plus r minus j root k s r minus j root k yeah so we have plus r minus j root k by using this we will write here so first now we will take some k values and we will take the s values here so k value here and the s values are here first i will take dc gain always from 0 to infinite this is the fixed value so i am writing the k value is 0 what is s value s value is also the 0 if i take k value is 1 s value is 2 time 2 1 is plus j1 because minus is there we have and the minus j1 if i take k value is the 2 plus j2 and this is the minus j2 and if i take k value is infinite this is plus j infinite this is the minus j infinite so by using this by using this we will draw the root locus how we will draw this root locus is look at here so this is the root locus this is the root locus okay yeah first we will take k value is 0 here i am taking first initially k value is 0 for k value 0 we have one point here one point here yeah this is the one point here next k value equal to 1 s value is plus plus j1 means these are the minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 these are the plus 1 plus 2 this is the s plane s plane it is the real axis and it is the imaginary axis so plus j1 means this is the point minus j1 means this is the point if you take k value 2 this is the point and this is the point if you take this and if you extend this finally finally we have it will be increases like this so the extension is if i take k value is infinite 
and it will be increases it will be increases extended it is extended right start from k equal to 0 and end at k equal to infinite this is the last point k equal to infinite this is also k equal to 0 and it is also k equal to infinite okay it starts from the 0 and end from the this and end from the minus infinite this is actually so s equal to minus infinite here also s equal to plus j infinite this is s equal to minus j infinite yeah so if you observe observe here root locus is two ways upside and downside then we can call it this complete is the root locus now it is called the complete in the root locus here gain is varies from 0 to infinite one case gain varies from 0 to infinite why it is like this compare with the previous model because here the s value is plus or minus j root k that's why this this is called the root locus this is the root locus is give the dc gain information okay i hope all of you understand this session thank you